the Miami Dolphins came into MetLife Stadium on Sunday and walked away with a victory over the New York Jets to give them their third win in a row. Brian Flores' team played almost exactly like they have the past few weeks. Their defense has been performing very well while their offense is struggling to put a lot of things together. However, did they earn a win, which is worth something? Despite all of the negative talk during the seven-game losing streak, Miami is just two wins back from being tied for the seventh seed. Here's what we can take away from the win. Tua Tungavailoa wasn't sacked at all. The offensive line has been one of the most consistently discussed topics for the team this year. They've hurt Miami running game, making them one of the worst in the league, and limited what Tungavailoa and the coordinators can dial up in the passing game. However, this week Tungavailoa didn't get sacked at all. Part of that was because of play calls and quick decisions, but those weren't the only reasons. It would be a stretch to say that the Dolphins' offensive line group was good in this game, but they were better than they've been this season. The Wildcat is a bit of an issue. The Dolphins used the Wildcat offense often against the Jets. It actually gave them their first touchdown on the day when Miles Gaskin handed the ball off to Jalen Waddell who won the foot race to the end zone. However, Miami went back to that well numerous times throughout the game without much success. It was almost always Gaskin running up the middle. The formation should allow the back to get to the ball quicker, but taking the ball out of Tungavailoa's hands doesn't seem like the best way to win. The safety blitzes are still working. The Dolphins continued to bring extra rushers from the secondary in this game after seeing success with that concept the last three weeks against Buffalo, Houston, and Baltimore. This week, Brandon Jones made a great play off the left side of the offensive line, coming completely unblocked and hitting Joe Flacco from his blindside. The ball bounced free and ended up in the hands of Christian Wilkins who fumbled again, and Javon Holland picked it up. Jones was later hurt in the game, but it's impressive to see how much both safeties' games have improved. Jason Sanders continues to struggle. Last season, Sanders was one of the best kickers in the NFL. He made 36 of his 39 field goal attempts, 92.3%, including 8 of the 9 from 50-plus yards. This year, he's regressed. In 2021, Sanders has hit just 13 of his 18 tries, 72.2%, including going 1 for 2 against the Jets. His missed attempt this week was from just 32 yards out and would have given Miami a 10-7 lead heading into halftime. At this point in the season, every game is critical for the Dolphins. They will need their kicker at his very best. Tua Tungavailoa 2 touchdown game for Dolphins gets brutal assessment from Jets defensive. Miami Dolphins quarterback Tua Tungavailoa played well in Week 11 against the New York Jets, with his two touchdowns enough to propel the team to a 24-17 victory. Tungavailoa completed 27 of his 33 passes for 273 yards. Even more noteworthy is the fact that he did not throw for an interception, allowing the Dolphins to pull away in the final quarter. Despite his performance, though, Tungavailoa got some harsh assessment from his opponents. Jets defensive end John Franklin Myers called Tungavailoa's passes, prayers, that were answered, per per Connor Hughes of The Athletic. Simply put, he's saying that the two-year-old simply got lucky in the game. Tua Tungavailoa only made four passes that were over 10 yards. The young quarterback did throw a 65-yard touchdown pass to Mac Hollins, but it was result of the Jets' secondary failing to do their job on the coverage. Despite the rather savage assessment, Tungavailoa can certainly take pride from his performance. While the Dolphins' defense deserves a huge chunk of the credit for limiting Joe Flacco to just two touchdown, Tua undoubtedly played his part and was extra efficient in it. Answered prayers or not, the Dolphins improved to 4-7 with the victory and now hope to turn around their campaign while they still have a slim playoff chance left.